Hi, this is Tracy, and welcome to Poems in Nature. Before we get to the poems, come take this hike with me. Today we are at Skull Rock, which is located in Will Rogers State Park. On Pacific Coast Highway, heading northbound, take a right on Chautauqua Boulevard, a slight right on Sunset Boulevard, then a left on Will Rogers State Park Road. Interesting fact about this park is that it was donated by Will Rogers' widow, Betty Rogers, as a memorial to her husband's legacy. But I think we all know that this land truly belongs to Native Americans. But I digress. If the beloved is everywhere, the lover is a veil. But when living itself becomes the friend, lovers disappear. If the beloved is everywhere, the lover is a veil. But when living itself becomes the friend, lovers disappear. To me, this means that love is omnipresent. Once we assign love with a noun, we place limits on love. It also means that the act of being present and finding joy in each moment, that is love in its essence. It's not a person, it's not a place, it's not a thing, but by being in the moment fully. If you want what visible reality can give, you are an employee. If you want the unseen world, you're not living in your truth. Both wishes are foolish, but you will be forgiven for forgetting that what you really want is love's confusing joy. If you want what visible reality can give, you are an employee. If you want the unseen world, you're not living in your truth. Both wishes are foolish, but you will be forgiven for forgetting that what you really want is love's confusing joy. This means that as humans, we are constantly desiring more, more from what our eyes see, more from what our hearts desires. But life is more than these desires. Life is about experiencing all and finding balance while enjoying the ride. Life is more than the tangible material world and the illusion we create in our minds. I guess it's about experiencing its vast spectrum while finding balance, which is joy within itself.